with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. Hey everyone, welcome back to MRI Man's channel. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to start an IV. And if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, first thing you do is have your supplies ready. We have our angiocath needle and we have our saline, we have tape, we have alcohol, we have our adapter for our saline flush and we have our tourniquet. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect the saline flush to the adapter that's going to connect to the IV catheter later on. And now I'm going to tie the tourniquet around the arm. I usually do it about two inches above where I'm going to go in to a vein. And of course, talk to your patient, let them know what you're doing. He is pumping his fist a couple of times just to get that blood flow. And I'm going to feel for a vein. And now that I've found one, I'm going to take my alcohol swab or prep pad and I'm going to wipe the area starting from the center and working my way out in a circular motion. And here I'm getting my tape ready. Uh, you want to have your tape ready before you go in just because you're going to have to tape that catheter down. And I have my catheter here. I'm going to go in just below where I see the vein. I always like to go below where the vein is most visible or palpable just because I know I have to advance my needle quite a way. And I'm going to tape that down up at the top. And since this one has a long tube, I'm going to tape it down also down toward the bottom. And he is going to release his hand. He doesn't need to squeeze his fist anymore. Here I'm going to lock the tubing so that the blood does not flow because I'm going to remove this little stopper at the bottom. If I remove the stopper and don't lock that tubing, then he's going to bleed right out of that opening. And here I have my saline flush. And now that I've attached it with that adapter, I'm going to unlock the tubing and I'm going to pull back. And there you see the return of the blood and make sure the air bubbles rise to the top. And now I'm going to flush the saline into the IV and we are good to go. And there you have it. That's how you start an IV. And of course, now you have to make sure you've thrown your needle in the sharps container and get rid of all of your trash and sanitize the area. Here, I'm going to remove the IV, gently pull the tape. Some people have very sensitive skin. And once I've got the tape off, I'm going to put a nice chunk of gauze on there and the needle or sorry, the catheter slides right out. And I usually have a piece of Coflex already ready to go. And I'm going to use that to wrap around the IV injection area. And I'm going to wrap it just tight enough that it can apply a little bit of pressure, but not so tight that it's painful. And as you saw, I usually leave my thumb as I wrap it around. That way I know how tight it is. And there you have it. That's how you do it. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment below.